is I'm going to attach our cute little doorknobs. How cute are these? I got them from Etsy. I finally attached and I didn't film it because I had a meltdown. I need to figure out how yeah, on God's green earth you build a drawer. So once we've got the base cut, we'll just take the next step from there. Okay? <laughs> you better keep that in as well. For all the fucking pervs out there. Excuse me. Sorry, could you actually just move? Thank you. <laughs> right, wood glue. I'm getting distracted. Oh, oh, I'm getting too excited. I'm not going to tell you it all now. This is just me rounding off. Yeah, that's it. Hello, right, today I'm back on the kitchen. Um, <laughs> all my footage is all over the place, my wife is all over the place, everything's all over the place. <sighs> what I've just done is finished attaching the top bit of these drawers here. And let me tell you, it was a mission a mission because they're attached using these corner brackets but this is so thin that all of our screws obviously just go straight through it and then finding and then even two pieces of it our screws go straight through three pieces was too thick and it's just been like trying to find the goldilocks zone has taken me well, to be honest, it's taken me weeks, but not weeks consistently. I've just been coming back to this job and getting stressed out. <laughs> but I've done it! So I'm really happy about that. What I'm doing at the moment is I'm going to attach our cute little doorknobs. How cute are these? I got them from Etsy. So I'm just looking for the tape measure, as usual. When am I not looking for the tape measure? So I can measure how high up the door I want them. Or should I just guesstimate it? Because I... Oh God. Oh God. Oh good. Should I guesstimate else? What do you think? Tip measure. Oh, tip measure. Well that was it then, because it's silver, but it's not. It was a egg cutter. Here's the goggles for when I'm looking for them in a bit. See you in a sec. I cannot find the tape measure anywhere. We've got two as well. The only thing I'm thinking is that Dad's just gone to do some jobs at Grandma's and has taken his toolbox, so he's probably taken one of the tape measures, which has halved my chances of finding them. I'm just going to do it by eye. Can you even see what I'm doing? Wow, what great filming! Oh lord, my patience is being tested. Ow! Fuck me. Have I got this? Oh my god, what a twat. They had to drill on the wrong zone. I'm gonna lose my fucking mind. Fuck yes. Oh my god, look! Sick. I finally attached and I didn't film it because I had a meltdown. Look how many washers are on this. <laughs> These ones have got blocks. Right, they're on. I don't really want to talk about it. To be honest, it was not an enjoyable experience. So, next thing's next. I need to figure out how, yeah, on God's green earth, you build a drawer. Okay, so, I've measured out what I think is gonna be the bottom of my drawer. I don't really know what the hell I'm doing. So, once we've got the base cut, We'll just take the next step from there. Okay? Why are you making a sound? <laughs> I don't know why it's doing it. 
come, come out of the thing and go into it again. It should be normal. Just cut through the table. Right. Can we make fucking <laughs> right? Can we make sure every time you cut in something, you're clear of anything? Yeah, I forgot. <laughs> yeah, you can't happen with that. You just can't I'm free. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a mess. Right, do we not think this is a bit deep for a draw? Yeah, it's well deep, but that's good. We can have a little secret compartment. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know, it's good because we're never going to wash any knives and forks, so we're just going to keep buying them, so over time we're going to have a massive draw full. <laughs> good job I got heavy duty sliders, baby. Right, okay. <laughs> you better keep buying as well. For all the fucking pervs out there. I'm just measuring 18 again. Okay. Now we pull it away from the workmate. And would you look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Look at the depth of that draw. Oh my goodness me. <laughs> my cutlery is going to feel like it's in prison or something. Right, so now we get these things. Excuse me. Sorry, could you actually just move? Thank you. Oh no. The bit where you screw it. Oh wait. So you attach that to the drawer, make sure you measure where it's going to be on the drawer. So obviously you want the drawer to touch the top, so you need to decide where you're putting that. You need to measure, basically you need to measure properly, so... <laughs> Just to say, you've had issues with that in the past. So maybe give, make sure you measure it and put your mark in the it top. It doesn't fit. I can Please. only attach it there and there. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to put it in that end and it's going to be flat and you're going to put that in there you're going to use that little gap to get through Oh Lord baby Jesus, so give me strength, <laughs> give me strength Right, so just put this anywhere really No <laughs> what, what, what did you just say, what did you just so measure. Seconds, like measure. Do. Pass me my drawer then. <laughs> Careful, the that's not attached. Them end bits. I'm doing that at a later date. Then no, those are the bits that aren't attached. <laughs> oh, I'm being skillful. <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> right, I'm actually a little bit. That it's not gonna. No, it's short. Have a little faith, sister. The battery's gonna die. The battery died. I've attached these sliders with the help of my father. However, the giant drawer did not fit. Were we warned? Were we warned? We may have been warned. Oh gosh. I really need a way. So, now I need to change the size of these. So that's great. Actually abandoned the drawer till tomorrow because it's six o'clock and we haven't walked out yet. And I want to get another coat of oil done on this to protect it to dry overnight. So I'm gonna do that now and then tackle the wonderful drawer in the morning. What a joy to wake up to that. It's really sunny and beautiful now. It was well gray this morning. So we're gonna go walk out in the sunshine, it's gonna be lovely. And then dad has made veggie meatballs for tea. What a great day. Hi everyone, I'm back on my drawer. So 
So, unfortunately, I didn't film this bit. Um, like the slide of it. Because it was a little bit stressful. But I did it. I built a drawer from scratch. It works and everything. So what I'm going to do now is reattach this bit. And then these are my front door bits. Although I'm not actually doing that now, I'm going to do that tomorrow because I need to wait for the glue on this to dry. So I'm just going to glue this down first. I need to find more wood glue. Right, wood glue. I'm getting distracted. Hiya! It's many, 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 many days later. But luck. Ta da! I did it. I built a drawer. There's things in it. Wow. It feels kind of surreal being sat here. We've got our fridge behind our little curtain here. Everything is a little bit of a mess. We're in the moving in stage where we've kind of just brought everything in. It's still on my parents' drive, the van and we're just trying to figure out homes for everything and what's going to be coming with us whilst also cleaning the house that we've been living in we're just in that phase in the moment so here welcome welcome to the mess and the chaos of life um yeah i obviously haven't filmed in quite a while as you can tell by the progress that's occurred but yeah, I just wanted to come on and finish this video and show you that the kitchen's built out. The sink is in. Let's give you a visual of that. A beautiful big sink. It's got this thing that you can like wash your fruit in. How cool. And a draining board here. These boards, these things came with it as attachments that slide across. Um, we've got our little knife rack up. And this is kind of a sneak peek reveal of the start of like our design and pattern. But I'm not gonna show you there. I kind of have shown you all of it, but it's no way near finished yet. I'm gonna do all of the painting on the road. And trust me, it's going to look so cool. I'm so excited to get this all, all my like designs in my head out onto this van finally. Cause obviously for six months, I've not been able to do all of that designy colorful ooh, ooh, ooh bit that I love. I've just had to be doing the rubbish bit that I don't really love. So I'm taking all my paints with me and just filling this with all the designs in my head. I'm so excited. What do you think of these curtains? I dyed them, they were white. And then round the windows here, there's going to be all pom-poms. Oh, oh, I'm getting too excited. I'm not going to tell you it all now. This is just me rounding off this kitchen video and where I was at with that. Um, and just, yeah, letting you know that I'm back to filming. I mean, you probably won't even really have noticed there's been a break because there's still been videos going up. Maybe you will notice from this video and the gap between jobs oh yeah and we've got all things in cupboards as well now look how mad and we've got these little clippy bits and these hooks and my shelves which aren't finished everything's half finished i'm reluctant to show you because it all isn't looking how it's gonna look when it's finished and i have this vision in my head of how incredible it's gonna be but you'll see that soon but yeah, we're still on the drive at the moment. We're waiting for the DVLA to send our logbook back and then we can head off. I'm equal parts shitting myself and absolutely ecstatically excited. Is Elsa inside or outside? I'm really nervous about actually driving it as well. The only vehicle I've ever driven before is a Mini. I know I'll get used to it and oh, I think she's still outside. I know I'll get used to it and then it will be like second nature eventually. I mean, people drive lorries and much bigger vehicles, but I'm not looking forward to the, there she is, look. Hello, pooch. I'm not looking forward to the adjustment period of learning how to drive it. Right, 
I'm gonna love you and leave you. And thank you so much for watching another video. I really appreciate it. We both really appreciate it. We love making these videos. And yeah, see you next time with another one. Bye.